All right, what is going on, buddy? It's your boy Tom. Welcome back to everyone's favorite anti visual novel of the late 2000s, Class of 09. This is the final episode of the ship. We're going to knock out the last two endings. There's 15. We knocked out 13. So let's just get a move on here. We all know the drill. So next week, we are going to move on to three up before we do the flip side. Oh my god, that is so funny. Yeah, I'm excited yeah, for this shit to be done. This year with Mr. Burliday. <laughs> yeah, like, fuck Mr. Burliday, dude. Oh. <laughs> god, they are never funny. It's like the girls just laugh to avoid oh, of sexual course not. assault. Hey, yo, you new to this educational prison? <laughs> I wow, wish. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah, I'm getting into, like, humor and stuff. Anyway, you know anyone around here? Know where your classes are? I mean, kinda. There's like numbers on the doors. I think I can figure it out. No, 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 no. I, I could show you around. Like like a school tour. You want to do that? You up for that? Fuck I'm gonna you. Be honest, you seem like the most boring piece of shit I ever met. Huh? Well, wait. Most I've ever met would mean you stand out in some way. You're a very run of the mill waste of time. I, I don't get it. What I do? You have time for the whole list? I guess. First, you wear classic rock t-shirts from Walmart. Girls don't compliment how you dress, so you settled for old people high-fiving you for being retro. Nah, people think I'm cool. Rapid fire of assumptions. Tell me if I get any wrong. You call your bicycle a BMX, like energy drinks, take <laughs> pictures of your skateboarding wounds, mention to anyone they can't get addicted to marijuana, and own a guitar pick necklace. Like, I can, I can say Hello. I have multiple bicycle All wounds. Right, I'll, I'll see you later then. Hey, I've seen your ass around here before. It's my first day, you sure about that? Whatever, all you hot girls look the same. That was real discreet. Gotta be, especially cutting under this school security. Uh-huh. And a girl like you skipping the first day? Are you a bad bitch or what? I'm an abysmal bitch. Fucking cool, rock on. So what do you do here, like cheerleading? Doesn't pay, so no. Well, I'm on the lacrosse team. Last season, we went 7-5, and five, like above 500, not bad. It's my life, pretty much. How can you make lacrosse your life? There's no pro league for it, is there? Well, I'm sure they're out there. Besides, we only lost like five games because I fucked my knee up and couldn't play the rest of the season. But it's pretty badass because they keep giving me Percocet. Cool. I guess it could be worse. Enough to demotivate an elephant. I got him right here. You want to do him with me? They only kind of get you fucked up, but it's good. Nah. Like, I'd love to, but I kind of make too good of decisions to get high with a stranger. Oh, come on. Don't be a pussy. We fucking go to the same school. I'm a student athlete. People know me here. Yeah, student athletes, kind of the red flag here. If I pop too many, I'm going to wake up with my thighs covered in butter. Yeah, I'm, Bro, I'm not going for any of the achievements, so I probably miss like a million of them, but if I get some, then it's just by luck, well, but... Like, not in a gay way. Uh-huh. I, know, I might go Whatever, for it in lunch. the real but... It was nice but... meeting you, very straight, non-rapist. <laughs> yeah, make your friends. <laughs> God damn, this school's nothing but rapists and pedophiles. Tell me about it. Oh, sorry. If you're sitting here, I can go somewhere else. Nah, I don't think anyone's showing up. Go ahead. Thanks. What's your name? Jekka. Now, before I ask your name, I just want to ask what happened to you. Like, it took me two years to figure out the school sucks. You did it on your first day. What's up? A lacrosse player wanted me to get high. Like, Benadryl or a prescription high? Full-on Percocet, dude. Oh, that's, um, fuck, what was his name? Kyler, yeah. Yeah, he's a bit of a benzosexual. What the fuck's a benzosexual? Attracted to the unconscious. Oh. Well, hi, I'm Nicole. I just dodged a bullet. Cool, hey. Um, so the other guys you gotta watch out for are usually into some form of feet. Nicole! No shit about you that. for day two? Is someone gonna kill me day two? If so, absolutely. Why? What happened? Just, like, waking up in general hurts. And I gotta deal with my brother who's still up from the night before eating a family box of anything. He can eat family-sized meals? How old is he? Like, 26. He just freeloads off my mom. I mean, we kind of freeload too, but we're 16. It's cool when we do it. Exactly. I have to tell him that when I'm woken up by loud chewing noises. Is he fat? Do you know what ex-bodybuilder fat is? Yeah, I kind of know what that looks like. Well, he's an obese monster. I was just curious if anyone else knew that bodybuilder phrase. He's not that. 
Good to know. Hey, let's gossip more at lunch. I gotta get to class. Dude, fuck class. Just skip with me. I told you yesterday, if I skip anymore, my mom's gonna start giving me disciplinary tattoos. How does that even work? What does she write on you? It'd be some weird shit, like, I love school on my fingers. Isn't that, like, abusive? She's the only mom I've ever had. How the fuck should I know? Huh. So where are you headed? Look, it's the first day. No funny guys, no comedians, no bringers of the ha-ha, okay? This year's gym class isn't last year's gym class. We're gonna really buckle down on physical fitness. I'm fit as fuck. I ain't buckling shit. <laughs> <laughs> Young lady, what's your name? Nicole. You want my phone number, too? <laughs> this is only the first class, Nicole. You won't be a problem all year, will you? No, sorry. Good. Now everybody better dress out every class. If you don't, it's a zero. Hit the locker rooms. I'll see you back here in ten. Where the hell did I put the shirt? Why does it even need the school logo? I'll just bring my own shitty shirts. Having trouble, Nicole? Um, can you... You can't be in here. Saw you were lagging behind. Not illegal. I thought you might need a spare shirt. Oh, thanks. Stop looking. Now, please. You know something? You're feisty. I like that in my female students. I got a feeling you like something else in your female students, too. See, you just snap back like that. I like it. It's sexy. You are saying this to a 16-year-old in the girls' locker room. Come on. What's a No. Look at no. you. You're mature enough. Ah. Uh, I guess. Why am I doing yeah. this? So what's up? Just wanted to chat with a pretty girl. About? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I just like looking at you. Why do girls say they okay. like older men? You're just as boring as younger men. I could show you a fun time a lot of these high school boys couldn't. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and I'll prove it, too. Hang up by the back entrance, and I'll pick you up after school. Hey, man, I love to catch an R, but I got homework. It's a weeknight, you know? Nah, I guess you're right. Hey, but one day we'll make something happen. I can't let my sexiest student get away now. Oh, my God, you're think so. so bad. Your gym coach has been around the block, sweetie. Yeah, well, sorry it didn't work out. I've had less periods than states in America, but again, sorry it didn't work out. If your BMI is under 25, you should just automatically get an A. Do something, bitch! Dude, shut up. Who cares? You think you're getting far with that mentality? You gotta nut up, Nicole. Oh, sorry. I didn't know dodgeball was a long-term goal right. for you. You know, what if? What if it's a long-term goal for me, huh? I'd feel sorry for you, because I'm pretty sure they canceled Extreme Dodgeball like two years ago. You saw that show too? That's sick! You know, you're kind of cool for a girl. Thanks. Uh... Sorry, you're just not a person who warrants return compliments. Man, you're honest too? That's kind of hot. Hey, do you want to, wanna like, hang out later? Oh, jeez. Like, Why? hang out where? Oh, you know, my place, maybe? I got this really cool stereo. Your dad bought a really cool stereo? That's cool. So, so are you down? I guess, sure. When do I come by? Any time tonight? My parents are out of town trying to find a boarding school to put me in. Sound good? Yeah, I'll swing by. Sweet, you're down to fucking everything. This is gonna rock. Well, no, the only thing down is my serotonin levels. What's serotonin? Is that like printer ink? I yes, I'll go. Now stop talking to me. But yeah, so I'm pretty into cool shit. You know, not like cool, cool shit. But kind of that step away from the regular cool shit, like just doing my own thing, you know? All I asked was, are you paying for the pizza and you just went into that? Whatever, you know, stuff at school, just on my mind and everything. What do you want to talk about? Lacrosse, maybe? Um... Is there even money in lacrosse? Well, the pizza party after games is like $80 or something. No, like oh, wow. memorabilia, autographs, anything? Well, my regional trophy is made of gold, so pretty valuable. I tapped it on the way in here. Pretty sure it's plastic. I guess the paint's made of real gold then. Does anyone famous play lacrosse? Have a signed ball or something? 
The greatest lacrosse player of this era is probably Cody Simpson, but I lost one of his signed jerseys last year. It was worth so much. Oh wow, for real? How much are we talking? Dude, bro, like $90? So there's no money in playing it, no money collecting it. What's the point? That's kind of what makes lacrosse so awesome. It's not about the money or commercials. The true payment comes in honor. Girls so dig honor. Honor won't pay for my new outfits. How do you buy into any of this shit? Who cares? Wow, it's like, it's just the way you don't even give a fuck. It's hot, I like it. All these girls always freaking out over whatever, but you? You wanna try like going steady? Going steady? People still say that? Like a relationship? Yeah, you could be my girlfriend and everything. What a treat. Oh, jeez. So how about it? You want to date? Why? No. No? Just like that? Give me a chance, dude. Sorry, but I'm too smart to date you. How am I not smart enough? How? Do you see this room? What, because I like sports? We're not all dumb jocks, you know? Who cares if you like sports? You're just boring. Like, yeah, your coach gives you free Percocet and everything, but how does that make you cool? So, what do I do? Impress me or die trying. So, if I die, you'll be my girlfriend? No, isn't... <sighs> Look, I'm sick of the same boring kid trying to take me out on his parents' money. I want a guy who's not afraid to ruin his life for me. And when I see that, I'll know you're worth dating. Oh. I don't know. Lost interest, huh? Good, nice talking. But I'll do it! What? I don't have it all figured out yet, but like, I'm gonna do some amazing shit to make you love me. You're so worth it for sure. Oh, oh really? If I didn't have PTSD, I'd be blushing right now. Awesome! I'll see you at school next week. I got a few things to work on. So, I can go now? Yeah. Is there something wrong? No, just surprised I didn't get sexually assaulted for telling you no. Oh, nah, I wouldn't do that. You want my key? Like, to my house? Why would I want a key to your house? Just letting you know you're, you're always welcome. Take my key. Take it, take my key. Okay. Oh, jeez. Him? Yeah, what's wrong? I'm just kidding, I know what's wrong with him. But like, you went over to his house. He's a total jock. You know what jocks do. Get molested by their coach? Yeah, and then they take it out on you. When he got you a drink. Did you watch him pour it? He never got me a drink. Well, no drink? Did he offer a drink? Did not offer a drink. What a fucking asshole. See, they're all like this, too. At least I didn't get drugged. I'd rather get drugged than not offered a drink. You know, what's fun about us is our priorities are drastically different. So anything else from last night? Yeah, he really wants me to be his girlfriend, but you know. He has the temper problem, right? How'd you turn him down gently? I didn't turn him down. I challenged him to win me over under the assumption there's some chance I could like him but in reality there's no chance none well good luck with that do you want my number in case he revenge kidnaps you I think I already have your number but yes the rumors were true your beloved gym teacher coach Colby was having illicit relationships with some of your classmates rock on coach Carla <laughs> Oh, anyway, his position of gym teacher has been terminated and will be replaced by next week. If any students had unfortunate run-ins with this behavior, my office is always open to talk about it. Yeah, I was in his class and he always wanted to try and guess what kind of underwear we had on. Oh, I remember that. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Both of you. Well, no, the fucked up part was he always guessed it right. It's like he was psychic. Or spying on you. Now, Nicole, just because he made a mistake or two doesn't mean he would actively spy on the girls' locker room. Why do you feel the need to be pessimistic? Sorry, sir. I guess I get flustered around dominant male <laughs> authority figures. <laughs> oh, um, well, th that's no excuse. Class dismissed. Except for you, Nicole. Huh, bitch, sucks to be you. Sucks to like lacrosse, you fucking field hockey reject. Now that your classmates are gone, you want to get out of here with me? I'm sorry, what? Don't play naive, Nicole. I saw the way you looked at me. 
I've seen the way you've no. been looking no. at me since you got to this school. Your dominant male authority figures here to take you away. Oh, so you're like actually going for it. As the counselor, I could sign you out early. We could spend the rest of the afternoon together. The evening No, too? no. You know I'm 16, right? Age is just a number. Hmm. Well, I guess saying that makes you just a pedophile, so what's the worst that could happen? See, there's that open-mindedness our program really tries to promote. Yeah, and believe me, your mind's gotta be wide open to date your guidance counselor. Like, your brain won't even fit. <laughs> Such a funny girl. Come with me. This way, Nicole. Hey, it's our counselor! Could we interest you in some homemade cake? Five dollars! What is this? Fine, okay, four dollars. Why is everyone out here? You work here and didn't know the school bake sales today? So you knew and let us go this way anyway? Were you guys just leaving together? Did the new girl get suspended or something? No, actually, he was taking me out on a date. Nicole! Up here! How'd he get on the roof? <laughs> what? You oh, jeez. Well, you got it. I'm gonna jump. Oh, oh shit! What's going on? What is this? Kyler! Get down from there now! No problem. I'm gonna stick the greatest landing of all time for you, Nicole! <laughs> Am I awake right now? Don't worry, Miss Lynn. MySpace showed me how to land risky jumps without injury. I'm coming down! No! no! Stay there! Do something, Nicole. You're the only one he'll listen to. Isn't this your job? I don't care if he gets himself killed. Now's not the time. Just keep him talking. Fine. Uh, Kyler? What is it? Last thing before I jump! Nah. Hey, I gotta be honest, I don't really give a shit if you stick some awesome landing. What? Really? Yeah, really, cause like- Cause you love me for me! You don't need some wild display of courage to be my girlfriend! No, actually, I'm just not gonna be your girlfriend either way. You had zero chance from the start if it makes you feel any better. What? No! Why did you say that? No, Kyler, it's okay. Just take some deep breaths, Back off from the ledge! All I deserve is a deep plunge! You did this, Nicole! Oh, God. Oh, jeez. What was that 90s TV show? Did I do that? I'm traumatized right now, but that was actually pretty good. How can you girls make jokes at a time like this? Your classmate just took his life. Yeah, you were about to take me out on a date. Fuck off, pedophile. Pedophile? Was this boy molested to the point of suicide? No, it's just our guidance counselor trying to molest me. No big deal. Well, I should alert the police. Already here. Yeah, this place is wild after that. I can't even understand how it happened. Hey, do you guys know where the janitor's closet is? I'm trying to sell him something. Sorry, I, I don't know anything. Yeah, I couldn't tell you. Bye. What the fuck was that? Hey, anime kid, do you know- uh, I'm sorry, I'll go! Why? There you are. Hey, why is everyone avoiding me? Uh, the only word on the street is you manipulated Kyler into killing himself. I barely did anything. My god, don't get defensive, I'm on your side like half the girls are. Why? How- he didn't even know me. Exactly. All he liked you for was looks, meaning you're pretty enough that a boy would literally die for you. It's like awesome, I wanna be you. What's your secret? Secret? It's... I just told him to work for it. That's it. Yeah, I tell guys that too. They aren't jumping off buildings for me. This is so not what I thought would happen after this. So many girls are just happy over this. Look, I know it's bad because he's dead or whatever, but like, honestly, fuck him. He was an asshole. The world's better off. I don't disagree <laughs> with you. Hi, Nicole. Uh, could I ask you something? Yeah, ask her anything. Uh, we're kind of best friends, by the way. Oh, well, I was just wondering if it's okay if I put my hair up like yours. If you're okay with that. It's a free police day. Do what you want. Awesome. Thanks. Bye. You saw that. Yeah. You gotta do something with this. Get famous with it. Like, you could be one of those famous YouTube girls. Hey, guys, I'm so hot boys kill themselves over me. I was with you on everything except famous. 
You don't want to be famous? No, just no one on YouTube's famous famous. Well, I know that, just like YouTube famous. Come on. Yeah. All right, but I don't have a camera or anything. We'll just record it at my house. I have a Mac and everything. You want to just skip right now and do that? Fucking of course, let's go. Oh, jeez. Eight months later, I'm kind of a big deal on YouTube. The first video we did went viral in like a week. All these news stations were calling for an interview. Schools wanted me to do assemblies. Oh, and a million sponsorships. For companies I don't even like, but they pay, so whatever. I was definitely right about YouTube fame because I tried hanging out with the guy who played McLovin and he just ignored every text. What? That is just so dark. All right, we are going to the last one. Hey, so for the senior prank this year, what if we like parked our cars where we don't usually park them? Oh my god, that is so funny. <laughs> yeah, math class this year with Mr. Burliday. <laughs> yeah, like, fuck Mr. Burliday, dude. <laughs> God, they are never funny. It's like the girls just laugh to avoid sexual assault. Hey, yo, you new to this educational prison? Ah. Uh. <laughs> wow, yeah, that was funny. Yeah, I'm getting into, like, humor and stuff. Anyway, you know anyone around here? Know where your classes are? I mean, kinda. There's, like, numbers on the doors. I think I can figure it out. No, 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 no. I, I could show you around. Like, like a school tour? You want to do that? You up for that? Sure. So then my friend got the DLC, this downloadable content. It's like $10. Like, dude, kind of not worth it for the gun. Why are you talking to me about video games? Just something, you know, uh, what, you don't like play video games or something? I'm a thin girl. Do I fucking look like I play video games? I'd rather play dead at a necrophilia convention. Oh, well, yeah, you know. I know what. Did... Did you hear about how Mountain Dew makes guys sterile? Yeah, from you and every other guy who reads the internet to try to be interesting. Ha, oh. ah, nice rolly backpack, you what? fucking four-eyed double dick sucking <laughs> bitch. Hey, stop kicking it! This backpack holds priceless reading materials! Oh yeah? Like what? Like Bernstein bears make eye contact? Hey, what is this, fourth grade? It is home to some of my favorite manga books. Manga? What is it, like Asian or something? Japanese, thank you. Some of which go on to be very popular television shows. Wait, can't you watch half those on cartoon channels? Why the hell would you read it? Uh, oh, that's it. Dude, how do you care about anything this much? W what do you mean? Like, okay, he thinks your Chinese cartoon books are stupid. Why defend it? Stay out of this, you... you girl. No. I'll just let this play out. I should beat your ass for liking anime. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, do it. I'm bored. Yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. Don't pull my hair. Oh, I broke his glasses. I got a split. Oh, yeah, me too. I'm on probation. I'll catch you around. Why well, aren't you running off with them? They're pussies. I'm not afraid to watch someone grovel in pain. Well, they're all just assholes. That guy's been making fun of me for like an anime since the sixth grade. Then just stop liking anime? But I can't do that. Anime is my favorite thing ever. My life. How are you emotionally invested in consumption? Are you trying to make anime? I don't get it. Kinda. I make fan art based on the works of Sento Takahashi. You know that anime will exist with or without you, right? No. Wait, what do you mean? Like, Senti Takamoki, whatever the fuck his name is. If you died, he wouldn't care. He wouldn't even know. What's your point? How do you give a fuck about anything that doesn't give a fuck about you? Hey, in a translated newsletter, he said thank you to each and every one of his fans. That includes me. Sure. Oh, he writes in English? No, his fan club translated it from Japanese. That's my point. He can't even talk to you. You think he cares about you? Well, uh... Anyway, you want to stick to getting beat up over children's media? I'll leave you to it. Wait. Huh? What? Thanks for talking to me. Not many people are as nice to me as you are. That was nice to you? God damn it. Yeah, I'm Jeffrey, by the way. What's your name? Ugh, Nicole. Wow. Okay. 
Bye, Nicole. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, you look new. The lunch line's on the other end there. Huh? You're trying to find where the lunch line starts, right? You got here a little late, so it's pretty long now. Oh, fuck. For a sec, I thought everyone else was skipping, too. Where'd you come in from? Like, just outside? There was this weird kid getting his shit handed to him. Like, weird how? I don't fucking know. Is he, like, talks about a bunch of dumb shit weird? Or, like, how can he afford someone to Adderall with a job at the shop and say weird? Um, first one. Oh, glasses, bull cut. That's Jeffrey. I don't think he's all there. Like, he's too socially awkward for the normal people, but too smart for the special eddies. Can I sit here? Yeah, sure. All my friends got put in a different lunch period. What's your name? I'm Nicole. I'm Jekka. Jekka? That's like, on your birth certificate? Short for Jessica, Avi. That's pretty punk for someone who dresses... so... Preppy? Yeah, my mom works corporate for department stores, so I get all this expensive stuff for free, but trust me, I don't give a fuck. Cool, yeah, same. Nicole! Oh, jeez. You ready for day two? Is someone gonna kill me day two? If so, absolutely. Why? What happened? Just like... Waking up in general hurts, and I gotta deal with my brother who's still up from the night before eating a family box of anything. He can eat family-sized meals? How old is he? Like, 26. He just freeloads off my mom. I mean, we kind of freeload too, but we're 16. It's cool when we do it. Exactly. I have to tell him that when I'm woken up by loud chewing noises. Is he fat? Do you know what ex-bodybuilder fat is? Yeah, I kind of know what that looks like. Well, he's an obese monster. I was just curious if anyone else knew that bodybuilder phrase. He's not that. Good to know. Hey, let's gossip more at lunch. I gotta get to class. Dude, fuck class. Just skip with me. Exactly. I told you yesterday, if I skip anymore, my mom's gonna start giving me disciplinary tattoos. How does it even work? What does she write on you? It'd be some weird shit, like, I love school on my fingers. Isn't that, like, abusive? She's the only mom I've ever had. How the fuck should I know? Huh. So where are you headed? Look, it's the first day. No funny guys, no comedians, no bringers of the ha-ha, okay? This year's gym class isn't last year's gym class. We're gonna really buckle down on physical fitness. I'm fit as fuck. I ain't buckling shit. <laughs> <laughs> Young lady, what's your name? Nicole. You want my phone number, too? <laughs> this is only the first class, Nicole. You won't be a problem all year, will you? No, sorry. Good. Now everybody better dress out every class. If you don't, it's a zero. Hit the locker rooms. I'll see you back here in ten. Where the hell did I put the shirt? Why does it even need the school- Having trouble, Nicole? Um, Oh, jeez. You, you can't be in here. Saw you were lagging behind. I thought you might need a spare shirt. Oh, thanks. You know something? You're feisty. I like that in my female students. I, I just realized that female students too. I can See, skip the dialogue by clicking. Like I like it. Huh. It's sex. You are saying this to- Come on. What's age? Look at you. You're mature enough. I guess, yeah. So what's up? Just wanted to chat with a pretty- About? Oh, I don't know. Uh... I just like look. Why do girls say they like older? I could show you a fun time a lot of these high school boys couldn't. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and I'll prove it too. Hang up by the back entrance and I'll pick you up after school. Nah. Hey, man, I love to catch an R, but I got home. Nah, I guess you're right. Hey, but one day we'll make something happen. I can't let my sexy student get away now. Oh, my God, you're so bad. Your gym coach has been around the block, sweetie. Yeah, well, sorry it didn't work out. I've had less periods than state. If your BMI is under 25, you should just automatically get an A. Do something, bitch! Dude, shut up. Who cares? You think you're getting far with that mentality? You gotta nut up, Nicole. Oh, sorry. I didn't know dodgeball was a long-term goal for you. You know, what if? What if it's a long-term goal for me, huh? I feel sorry for you, because I'm pretty sure they canceled Extreme Dodgeball like two years ago. You saw that show, too? That's sick! You know, you're kind of cool for a girl. Thanks. Uh, sorry, you're just not a person who warrants return compliments. Man, you're honest too? That's kind of hot. Hey, do you want to, want to like, hang out later? Like, hang out where? Oh, you know, my place. Your dad bought a really cool stereo? That's cool. So, 
So are you down? I guess, sure. When do I- Any time tonight. My parents are out of town trying to find a boarding school to put me in. Sound good? Yeah, I'll swing by. Sweet, you're down to fucking everything. This is gonna rock. Well, no, the only thing down is my serotonin levels. What's serotonin? Is that like printer ink? E yes, I'll go. Now stop talking to me. But yeah, so I'm pretty into cool shit. You know, not like cool, cool shit, but kind of that step away from the regular cool shit, like just doing my own thing, you know? All I asked was, are you paying for the pizza and you just went into that? Whatever, you know, stuff at school, just on my mind and everything. What do you want to talk about? Lacrosse, maybe? Does lacrosse involve beating the shit out of that one kid? What one kid? The one who likes Japan a lot, Jeffrey. What? Oh, yeah, totally. Me and the other guys fuck with his ass all the time. Yeah? How many fingers? Not like that. Just throwing lacrosse balls at him and watching him chump. Nice. Yeah, him suffering just makes me feel good for some reason. Yeah, that's hot. Speaking of that, you know that one girl, Jekka? I, I can't remember her last name. I know her. She dresses really expensive and everything. She's cool. Yeah, cool, like in a stuck-up bitch way. What'd she do to you? Nothing. But girls with that sort of attitude... I don't know. Like, I want to have sex with her to knock her down a few pegs. What the fuck is wrong with you? Well, what anyone other wrong? than me. Whatever. All men are rapists anyway. You're just a drop in the bucket. Wow, it's like... It's just the way you don't even give a fuck. It's hot. I like it. All these girls always freaking out over whatever, but you... You want to try, like, going steady? Going steady? People still say that? Like a relationship? Yeah, you could be my girlfriend and everything. What a treat. So how about it? You want a date? No. No? Just like that? Sorry, but I'm... How am I not smart enough? How? Do you see this... What? Because I like sp Who cares if you like sports? You're just... So... What do I do? Impress me? So if I die, you'll be my girlfriend? No, isn't... <sighs> Look, I'm sick of the same boring kid trying to take me out on his parents' money. I want a guy who's not afraid to ruin his life for me. And when I see that, I'll know you're worth dating. Oh. I don't know. Lost interest, huh? Good, nice talking. But I'll do it! What? I don't have it all figured out yet, but like, I'm gonna do some amazing shit to make you love me. You're so worth it for sure. Aw, if I didn't have PTSD, I'd be blushing right now. Awesome! I'll see you at school next week. I got a few things to work on. So, I can go now? Yeah. Is there something wrong? No, just surprised I didn't get sexually assaulted for telling you no. Oh, nah, I wouldn't do that. You want my key, like to my house? Why would I want a key to your house? Just letting you know you're, you're always welcome. Take my key. Take it, take my key. Okay. Him? Yeah, what's wrong? I'm just kidding, I know what's wrong with him. But like, you went over to his house. He's a total jock. You know what jocks do. Get molested by their coach? Yeah, and then they take it out on you. When he got you a drink, did you watch him pour it? He never got me a drink. Well, no drink? Did he offer a drink? Did not offer a drink. What a fucking asshole. See, they're all like this. At least I didn't get- I'd rather get drugged than not offered a drink. You know what's fun about us? So anything else from last night? Yeah, he really wants me to be his girlfriend, but you know. He has the temper problem, right? How'd you turn him down gently? I didn't- tr But in reality, there's no- None. Well, good luck with that. Do you want my number in case he revenge kidnaps you? I think I already have your number. But yes, the rumors were true. Your beloved gym teacher, Coach Colby, was having illicit relationships with some of your classmates. Rock on, Coach! Carla. <laughs> anyway, his position of gym teacher has been terminated and will be replaced by next week. If any students had unfortunate run-ins with this behavior, my office is always open to talk about it. Yeah, I was in his class and he always wanted to try and guess what kind of underwear we had on. Oh, I remember that. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Both of you. Well, no, the fucked up part was he always guessed it right. It's like he was psychic. Or spying on you. Now, Nicole, just because he made a mistake or two doesn't mean he would actively spy on the girls' locker room. 
Why do you feel the need to be pessimistic? Sorry, sir. I guess I get flustered around dominant male authority figures. <laughs> oh, um, well, th that's no excuse. Class dismissed. Except for you, Nicole. Oh, bitch, sucks to be you. Sucks to like lacrosse, you fucking field hockey reject. Now that your classmates are gone, you want to get out of here with me? I'm sorry, what? Don't play naive, Nicole. I saw the way you looked at me. I've seen the way you've been looking at me since you got to this school. Your dominant male authority figure's here to take you away. Oh. So you're, like, actually going for it. As the counselor, I could sign you out early. We could spend the rest of the afternoon together. The evening, too. Nah. You know I'm 16, right? Age is just a number. Hmm. Well, I guess saying that makes you just a pedophile, so what's the worst that could happen? See, there's that open-mindedness our program really tries to promote. Yeah, and believe me, your mind's gotta be wide open to date your guidance counselor. Like, your brain won't even fit. <laughs> Such a funny girl. Come with me. This way, Nicole. Hey, it's our counselor! What is this? Fine, okay, four dollars. Why is every- You work here and didn't- So you knew and let us go this way anyway? Were you guys just leaving together? Did the- No, actually, he was taking me out on a date. Nicole! Up here! How'd he get on no. the roof? <laughs> what? You want it not boring? Well, you got it! I'm gonna jump! Oh, oh shit! What's what going on? What is this? Kyler! Get down from there now! No problem! I'm gonna stick the greatest landing of all time for you, Nicole! <laughs> Am I awake right now? Don't worry, Miss Lynn. MySpace showed me how to land risky jumps without injury. I'm coming down! No! no! Stay there! Isn't this your job? I don't care if he gets himself killed. Now's not the time. Just keep him talking. Fine. Uh, Kyler? What is it? Last thing before I jump! No. Hey, I gotta be honest. I don't really give a shit if you stick some awesome landing. What? Yeah, really, because, like, Cause... no, actually, I'm just not... What? No! Why did you say that? All I deserve is a... Oh, God. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. What was that 90s TV show? Did I do that? I'm traumatized right now. That was actually pretty good. How can you girls make jokes at a time like this? Your classmate just took his life. Yeah, you were about to take me out on a date. Fuck off, pedophile. Pedophile? Was this boy molested to the point of suicide? No, it's just our guidance counselor trying to molest me. No big deal. Well, I should alert the police. Already here. Yeah, this place is wild after that. I can't even understand how it happened. Hey, do you guys know where the janitor's closet is? I'm trying to sell him something. Sorry, I, I don't know anything. Yeah, I can tell you. Bye. What the fuck was that? Hey, anime kid, do you know- uh, I'm sorry, I'll go! Why? There you are. Hey, why is everyone avoiding me? Uh, the only word on the street is you manipulated Kyler into killing himself. I barely did anything. My god, don't get defensive. I'm on your side like half the girls are. Why? How- he didn't even know me. Exactly. All he liked you for was looks, meaning you're pretty enough that a boy would literally die for you. It's like awesome. I want to be you. What's your secret? Secret? It's... I just told him to work for it. That's it. Yeah, I tell guys that too. They aren't jumping off buildings for me. This is so not what I thought would happen after this. So many girls are just happy over this. Look, I know it's bad because he's dead or whatever, but like, honestly, fuck him. He was an asshole. The world's better off. I don't disagree with you. Hi, Nicole. Uh, could I ask you something? Yeah, ask her anything. Uh, we're kind of best friends, by the way. Oh, well, I was just wondering if it's okay if I put my hair up like yours. If you're okay with that. It's a free police state. Do what you want. Awesome. Thanks. Bye. You saw that. Yeah. You gotta do something with this. Get famous with it. Like, you could be one of those famous YouTube girls. Hey, guys, I'm so hot boys kill themselves over me. I was with you on everything except famous. You don't want to be famous? No, just no one on YouTube's famous famous. Well, I know that. Just like YouTube famous. Come on. 
Now, this is the part where we pick the other one. Well, hold on. I might have a way easier idea here. Okay, let's see it. Call over the weird nerdy kid. Jeffrey, can you help me hold my books? Huh? Yeah, of course. Anything for you. Where's the books? Hi, Jeffrey. Uh, Nicole. Hi there. What's wrong, Jeffrey? Just looking for a new friend to chat with. Am I no good? Uh, no, you're fine. It's just, I I'm afraid of you. Afraid you'll use your emotional prowess to manipulate me into killing myself. Is that what those bullies are saying? Yes, you'd be correct. Well, guess what? What? They're right! Ah. You don't want to fall in love with me, do you? Yes! I mean, no, I mean, I, I don't know! You're a smart boy, right? Let's make a deal. You do all my homework and slip me every test answer, and I won't force you to kill oh. yourself! Really? You do that for me? I never thought a girl would be this nice to me. Say yes before I change my mind. Uh, of course. I'll get right on it. Uh, see you tomorrow. I don't believe what I just saw. Yeah, I don't believe it either, but there's no way this will last. But seriously, is it like your whole emo look they're into, or what? Yeah, long flowing ponytail. Very emo. So, what? he stuck with that deal all the way to the end of graduation. I'm valedictorian for the class of 09. He was still doing all that homework even after everyone stopped caring about the suicide, which was like a month, so Jeffrey's an outlier. For my speech, I just read quotes from an AA brochure and people ate it up. Special thanks to lacrosse. What? Not gonna lie, I would have done that myself. All right, well, that is it. That is all the endings of Class of 09. We did this in, was it 10 episodes? We knocked out all 15 endings, but that is it. So, like I said, I'm not going to go for any of the achievements, but if I did, then it was by accident. So, next week will be Class of 09, the re-up, and then after that will be the flip side. I love you guys. I will see you all tomorrow night. Have a good night. Peace out.